I'm speaking to representing Catholics for a Changing Church, which is an organization of thinking Catholics founded in 1969 because we wanted the church to continue the movement begun in the Second Vatican Council to reform itself and to move forward. I'm also the secretary, or rather on the secretariat of the European Network, Church on the Move, an association of over 30 groups throughout Europe in uh, 28 different countries, and we're involved in work at the Council of Europe and the European Union. What I want to say is that I am sad that although Pope Benedict has chosen the name Benedict, because he tells us Benedict is one of the patrons of Europe, Benedict was of course also the founder of Western monasticism, and he wrote a rule. And the first word of that rule is listen. In Latin, it's ausculta. It's a word that means much the same as obey. It means listening. And the prime characteristic of Benedictines is their willingness to listen and to learn, and then to obey what the Spirit tells them after that discernment process. It's a pity that Pope Benedict doesn't listen in this Benedictine manner. What do you think of the present um, crisis the church is going through and the way this crisis has been treated in the media and the way the church has responded to that? Are you referring to the crisis of the revelations of sexual misbehaviour by clergy? Yes. What is, I, I think the church is being unnecessarily defensive because a lot of bishops have not behaved properly, they have not denounced clergy to the authorities and sometimes they have actually sought to make it impossible for the clergy to be punished and therefore I think it serves the church rights if bishops who behaved in that sort of way are now being held to public accountability. Are you a committed Catholic yourself? I did I'm a committed Catholic. I'm an oblate of a Benedictine monastery myself. I attend vespers there twice a week. I go to Mass every Sunday. And how do you see the future of the church if it doesn't reform? The church is 2,000 years old and it will continue, it will hobble on. But look what it's doing to the churches in South America, for example, where it's allowing, because it refuses to ordain married men, it's allowing a lot of Catholics to go over to Pentecostalists and other forms of Protestantism. The church has often done itself a huge amount of damage, but it still survives. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. So what must it do to survive? Listen. It must listen to its members. Is there any hope under the present Pope of um, the change that you want? No. What must happen? He must be taken to his reward and we must get a different Pope with a more modern outlook of understanding of modern society and the way we do things today. And are there any favourites that you would like to see in that position? I'm afraid I'm not really interested in cardinals and all that sort of thing, but I understand from people who do know there are some good men among the cardinals.